What is clay? Clay is a type of fine-grained mineral soil or sediment that is formed from the weathering and erosion of rocks. It is composed primarily of clay minerals, which are layered silicate minerals with a characteristic sheet-like structure. The most common clay minerals are kaolinite, elite, and smectite, although there are many other types of clay minerals that can occur in varying proportions. Clay is typically found in areas where there has been significant weathering and erosion of rocks, such as riverbeds, floodplains, and coastal areas. It can also be found in areas where volcanic ash has been deposited and weathered over time. Clay is typically soft and pliable when wet, but becomes hard and brittle when dry. It can be found in a variety of colors, depending on the mineral composition and the presence of organic matter. Clay has many important uses, both industrial and cultural. One of the most important uses of clay is in the manufacture of ceramics. Clay is mixed with water to form a plastic paste, which can then be shaped and fired in a kiln to produce pottery, bricks, tiles, and other ceramic objects. Clay is also used in the manufacture of paper, as a filler in paints and coatings, and as a binding agent in cosmetics and pharmaceuticals. Clay also plays an important role in soil science and agriculture. Clay soils are known for their ability to retain water and nutrients, making them ideal for growing crops. However, clay soils can also be difficult to work with, as they can become compacted and waterlogged if not managed properly. Clay minerals also play an important role in soil chemistry, as they can adsorb and release nutrients, as well as pollutants and contaminants. In addition to its practical uses, clay has also played an important role in many cultures throughout history. Clay figurines and pottery have been found in archaeological sites dating back thousands of years, and clay has been used in religious rituals, art, and architecture. Clay has also been used in traditional medicine, as a remedy for a variety of ailments. Overall, clay is a versatile and valuable resource that has played an important role in human culture and industry for thousands of years. How is clay formed? Clay is formed through a process of weathering and erosion of rocks over long periods of time. The process begins when rocks are exposed to the elements, such as wind, water, and sunlight, which causes them to break down into smaller pieces. This process is known as physical weathering and can occur through a variety of mechanisms, including freeze-thaw cycles, abrasion by wind-blown sand or water, and the expansion and contraction of rocks due to temperature changes. Once the rocks have been broken down into smaller pieces, they are subject to chemical weathering, which involves the breakdown of minerals through chemical reactions. This can occur through a variety of processes, such as oxidation, hydrolysis, and dissolution. In the case of clay, chemical weathering plays a particularly important role in the formation of clay minerals. The minerals that make up rocks are typically composed of various elements, such as silicon, aluminum, iron, and oxygen. When these minerals are exposed to water, carbon dioxide, and other chemicals, they can react to form new minerals. In the case of clay minerals, the reaction typically involves the breakdown of feldspar, which is a common mineral found in many rocks. Feldspar is composed of aluminum, silicon, and oxygen, and when it is exposed to water and carbon dioxide, it undergoes a chemical reaction that converts it into clay minerals, such as kaolinite, elite, and smectite. The formation of clay minerals is typically a slow process that occurs over millions of years. The climate and environment in which the rocks are exposed to weathering can also have an impact on the type and quality of clay minerals that are formed. For example, wet, tropical climates tend to produce kaolinite-rich clays, while dry, arid climates tend to produce smectite-rich clays. Once clay minerals are formed, they can be transported by wind, water, and other natural processes and deposited in areas such as riverbeds, floodplains, and coastal regions. Over time, these deposits can build up and form thick layers of clay sediment. 
These sedimentary deposits can be further modified by geological processes such as compaction and cementation, which can transform them into sedimentary rocks, such as shale. In summary, clay is formed through a complex process of physical and chemical weathering of rocks, followed by the formation and deposition of clay minerals in sedimentary deposits. The climate and environment in which the weathering and deposition occur can have an impact on the type and quality of clay minerals that are formed. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.